Now, Leray, you mentioned that you work with a lot of other labels, uh, a lot of which are overseas labels, obviously, in terms of remote controls, operations. What are some labels overseas that you think are doing really interesting things at the moment? Um, guess I'm lucky because we work with all of the <laughs> good labels that I would probably say are doing interesting things like 4AD, XL, Young Turks in particular I think is probably one of the most interesting branding for a label and they've got really strong, I mean, they're just great tastemakers. I guess that's what Young Turks are and we're really lucky to work with them. They'd probably be my example of a label that's kind of leading the way at the moment internationally. So for those not familiar with Young Turks, what are they doing exactly to establish um, themselves as tastemakers? Uh, I guess I work with artists like The XX, Jamie XX, Twigs, those type of things, I guess. They do a lot of parties and things, that type of thing. It's just a tastemaker thing. And Dan, you, I imagine you've got some opinions here. Um, yeah, uh, software, uh, one of Tricks Point Never's label is super dope. Uh, we did it. Slow Mo's label's awesome too. Um, I, I really think labels like that, software, we did it. That they're, they're structured in a way that it's pretty much one person's taste. And I really think that if you're thinking about starting a label or anything like that, the less you listen to everybody else, the better it'll be. The, as a singular vision sort of carried through is always going to be a, a better product at the end, I think. That, I mean, y there's stuff to be said about collaborations and things like that. And if you can sit in a room with eight people that you truly get and can collaborate with properly, then that's great. But I think trying to sort of, you know, blink yourself a little bit and trust in yourself and, and do that kind of thing, it's always going to end in a, in a better product. I've been throwing parties for about six years or so, and... Like, I really genuinely threw my money at the wall for two or three years, and now, finally, people have come around to it and, and trust what I'm doing. And you will get there if you, if, you, if you focus on what you like and you're passionate enough. I really think that singular vision is, is the way to go with things. And I think those labels, like We Did It and Software, and everything I'm interested in is, is one guy and his passion sort of going through. So, yeah, that's what I think. You guys haven't been at it long. You must have looked overseas for some inspiration as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my favourite label personally is Harper Dub. Um, yeah. Everything they touch is... Yeah. <laughs> we could yeah, probably go chat about it all day. Um, I mean, most of the artists are literally the tastemakers, the pioneers of specific sounds. I mean, you could say, you know, DJ Richard, rest in peace, is, you know, one of my favourites. But, um, you know, his album last year, Double Cup, is, yeah, it literally has brought footwork to a whole new audience and it, you know Hyperdub really runs off that model everything they really do now obviously Burial one of the you know most critically acclaimed albums for electronic music so they're being one of our biggest inspirations 